Welcome to Make It Take It Sports Betting Tips and Picks. I'm DC. If you're interested in sports betting, please subscribe below. I had a 1 0 yesterday, uh, day yesterday. Uh, the other one was a push. The over I took in the Giants game ended up right on eight, but I uh, got the winner in the no runs of the first inning that I had. That brings my record to 25 and 10 for the season. Now, if you go back to yesterday's video, which I'll link in the description below, you'll see that I alluded that uh, that the no run of first inning play was uh, a lower play. I did say it was my top play for the Giants over, but I want to get away from even alluding that there's different levels. If you watched my college basketball videos, which college basketball videos, my college basketball batting is my top sport. And in those, I explain how I don't do star ratings or rankings or units for my plays because anything that I feel is worth putting on video and putting out there is worth playing, not delineating between any of them or making one better than the other. If it's worth me putting on video, it's worth me saying on video and uh, throwing down on. So we're not sitting around here saying, oh, who can pick the most? right games, who can get the most, this and that. We're putting money on these games. So going forward, I'm going to try to, you know, stick to not saying that one play is better than the other. But want to know yesterday, I look at today's slate and went back and forth between a lot of things. A lot of interesting streaks going on. Of course, the Angels still have their losing streak. And the thing about streaks, when you're a streak breaker, is you're going to try to find the right spot to jump in and try to break that streak. And I'm not going for that today in the Angels. We also have a streak in the A's-Atlanta Braves game where the A's have lost seven in a row. The Braves have won six in a row. But the A's have a somebody making their major league debut, pitching for them today. So I'm going to stay away from that game. The only game I really like is the Dodgers here. Uh, the Dodgers have Gosselin going on the road, and they're in the middle of a three-game losing streak themselves. So I'm taking the Dodgers to win today on the money line. The odds aren't too bad for them to where I feel like I have to make up for it in a parlay or anything like that. I'm just taking the Dodgers. And that's another thing. I mean, you can take favorites all the time and pump your numbers up, like I was saying yesterday, and have more wins. The problem with that is, when they don't come out, it sets you back so much. That's why when I do take a big favor of like over minus 200, I always try to make up for the odds somewhere in a parlay or something like that, which you, you see me explain in my videos all the time. So, uh, cause look, look at last week, Dodgers got swept by the pirates and they were minus 300 every night that sets you back. If you took the Dodgers, all those games minus 900. So, I try to stay away from taking big favorites unless I'm arranging them a certain way, which I explain. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. The Dodgers are my play for today. Thank you for watching and good luck today.